So when you buy a new hybrid battery, you typically need to return your core. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to prep that core so you can return it with, uh, you got to pull a bunch of stuff off of it so you can return it because when you return it, you return just the modules. You got to pull out all the electronics out of it and put them out of your battery and put them in the new battery. So all these modules are going to stay, but we're going to pull out uh, most of these electronics here. Uh, this should be like pretty much an empty space by the time we're done. We're going to take these vent tubes and there's a bunch of other stuff. I've got a manual. I couldn't find any videos online on how to do this for a Gen 1 Prius. So this is going to be applicable to 2001 to 2003 uh, Toyota Priuses in America. And if you're in Europe or Japan, they go back to 97 to 03. So these cars are getting of age now. So people are starting to replace these batteries more often now. So this is going to be the how-to video. Your first step is going to be to take this cover off sitting over there. Uh, there is 12 12 millimeter bolts that you just go around, around the side and take them off. Next step is going to be you're going to take this nut off right here. It's going to be a 12 millimeter. I'm sorry, a 10 millimeter. Something I should have mentioned when you pull the car, the battery out of the car, make sure you take the service plug out. This way you don't electrocute yourself and die. Before you even take it out of the car, this is the first thing you do anytime you work on a Prius. You pull that safety plug, that way you don't get electrocuted. Next thing you're going to want to take this plastic cover off here. Uh, this just use a flathead screwdriver and you pry up like this on these things. You don't need to take them all off, just this first one, because these wires are coming with us. So again, they have 8 mil nuts here. You want to take those off. I should note you're going to need all of these nuts, so I love these magnetic dishes. So get yourself one of those and keep everything you take off for now. Okay, next you're going to take off all of these screws here. There's one, two, and three on this side. Oh, there's one down here too, don't forget about that. So there's four on this thing. Now that we got that side taken apart, uh, let's come out, jump out to the other side. So you're gonna wanna take these other eight millimeter nuts off here that are holding these two wires in. And then we're gonna unplug the ECU. And all the way down in there, there's another right here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. There's another 10 mil uh, nut in here under the ECU plug. So we're taking the ECU from the battery and we're taking the all the relays and uh, all this wiring here. All that's coming with us to the next to the new battery. So once you get these two bolts taken off that hold these here, this clip, you just pr push it in on this side and it slides right out. I'll even, I'll put it back in just to show you guys. It was super easy. So there's a little bracket you push here and it comes right out. Just like so. And then on the bottom, there's another one, but you got to push on the opposite side this time. So this is on the right side. This time you got to push on the left side and then pull that plug out. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Yep, just like so. Now you can access this nut down here at the bottom. So that's gotta come out next. Uh, a quick note about that nut down there. They're gonna throw you for a spin. That one's a 10 millimeter instead of an eight like everything else is. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna continue to keep taking this apart. There's a clip here, an orange one. You gotta push on both sides. See how that one side comes in? I can't get the other side with one hand, so I'll need both hands to do that. So I'll come back to that once I put the camera down. Then there's gonna be another, looks like another eight mil down here. We're gonna take that out. Okay, once you get this orange clip undone from here, you can look in there and let me see if I can put it out with the screwdriver. Right here, you can see one and two more uh, bolts and nuts. They're, they look like bolts, but they could be nuts that we gotta take out. Uh, they're holding in these relays, so hopefully after we take those out, we're going to pull uh, the whole assembly out. So here are those bolts uh, after taking them out. They are 8 millimeters, and uh, I unscrewed them, and then they, they were still sitting in there, so I grabbed a magnet to pull them out. Okay, now that all the bolts are out, this thing is loose in here. Looks like we're going to have to take out these uh, plastic pieces to be able to get enough leeway, leeway in there and to be able to get this big harness through the hole here. So to get these clips out, you can see there's like a little tab here that you got to push. Okay, so this little guy is kind of complicated in how it works. You see this uh, little pointy thing? It's got to get pushed in to release these exterior tabs. 
And uh, if you, I don't think it'll show up on the camera, but if you look really closely, there there's a little groove or a little notch that these little arms are in. So they're kind of locked in place. To unlock them, you basically grab a screwdriver and you see this little notch? So you see these little notches here? I, I was able to grab a screwdriver and just push them to the side like so, and that releases it. And then I was able to grab a screwdriver and just push this in. So that's as far as it goes. And then you get on the outside with a screwdriver and pry this away from the metal housing and it works. And then push down on the this top piece and this plastic piece comes out hopefully without breaking. You're, uh, I, I don't know if you'll need that uh, on a new battery or not. I imagine you will, but um, if any of the stuff I'm doing is not accurate, I will update the video and I'll, and I'll tell you guys about it because uh, once again, I couldn't find any, you know, option, uh, any guides or DIYs on this. So I'm all, uh, I kind of just looked at pictures of new batteries and I noticed this whole thing is empty. So I know you're going to need your ECU and your relays. I'm not positive about, uh, you know, these wires that go to the bus bars uh, or what. So we'll, I'll let you guys know when the time comes if that's necessary or not. So next thing we're going to have to do is uh, take off this outer plastic ring here okay so you see this little arm here or this little tooth whatever you want to call it it's got four of them that go all the way around it you basically just push in on those with a screwdriver and uh, they'll pop through the hole but this uh, connector is interesting because see it still doesn't go through this uh, metal or this black plastic but if you look closely you see these two tabs they're actually holding it together the thing is split you can kind of see the seam the seal here so you gotta pull these apart uh, I'm sorry you have to pry these up as you pull the whole thing apart and it'll come apart here it is taken apart and as you can see it's flexible and now I can take it off of get this connector out of here like so so now this connector should fit through this hole here let's see what happens if I try to take this thing out There are our hybrid battery relays out of here. Last thing that's left here is the ECU. Let's see if that wants to come out. Look at that. Looks like this wiring harness is connected here. You just need to pinch the bottom of this uh, little connector here to get that to free out. I'll need both hands to do it. And there we go. There's our ECU. There's our fuses or our relays. And all that's left that I think we need to grab is just these wires here so let's see how they come out of this clip here so I got it out uh, I had to put the camera down and do so because I need to both hands but it you know it goes like this all I did was just kind of wiggle it out and then kind of snake it around different angles snake all the wires through that hole and here we are next thing we're gonna need to take these vent tubes out and I've never taken them off but you should just be able to fry them up Yep, and it is rubber, so it kind of plays. It's got quite a bit of give, but as you can see, it just pops right off. You'll need to take those with you because the new batteries do not come with those. Once you get to the end of these uh, vent tubes, you'll have this little plastic piece here. Uh, literally, just pull it out. Nothing special. It's just a tube with the rubber hose that goes into it. So just pull this out and then you can just pull these through this hole like so. They're not very easy, but they're not too difficult either. They just pull right out. So you can add these to the pile of parts you're gonna be putting onto your new battery. And the last thing we're gonna need to take from this battery is gonna be the temperature sensor harness. So as you can see here, it's plugged in or it's kind of clipped in you got to just pull this clip back as you pull the wires out and then it's clipped in multiple places here along this uh, bar but to get these out it's pretty simple you just need to essentially squeeze you'll need to squeeze these two pins like this as you pull up I'll need both hands to do it but so there's one two three four of them here 
and then you'll see these two green wires come around the end of it here and it's got like a temperature probe here let me try to get out of the shadow I know you guys won't be able to see it very well but it's got a temperature probe here which yep I can just pull out like this and uh, this little black wire will need to kind of get come out of this hole here we can pull the grommet out of this hole to make some more room and we're taking all this stuff with us the grommets included now I tried uh, pinching these things with a pair of pliers as I pull up on this, but the actual easiest way is to, to get this out is going to be with a screwdriver. Let me see if I can set up the camera to show you guys. Now if you can see, I'm just going to hit it with the screwdriver on one side and the whole thing just comes right up. Super easy. Now your last two steps are going to be to make sure you put the black plastic covers on here and then get the main cover and throw it on there. Uh, I want to summarize what you guys will need because it would suck to turn this in as a core and then find out you actually need something from it. So what we've pulled off is the two uh, black vent tubes along with the white T that connects the two of them together. These two uh, orange cables here along with the fuse, they're pretty much bolted in. It's all one assembly. Uh, the fuse holder. The wiring harness for your temperature probes. I don't know the technical term for it, but it's the only black harness that plugs into the ECU. Uh, and then the two plastic pieces that come with all the wiring that go right here on the side. Your battery ECU, of course, and of, lastly, the battery relays. Now, if this video helped you guys out at all, please drop a comment, let me know, also give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I know it helped you guys out if you need to do this because there's no other video like it. I looked quite a bit. So you guys commenting on that helps it populate on Google better so other people can find it easier. But uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you guys. I hope it wasn't too boring or too long. Let me know how I did. Thanks.